Hallo und willkommen, ich bin Meister Lehns hier und das ist Dave und du watching Get Germanized 8 more things not to do in Germany. Oh, I'm bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get Germanized. First one. There is a difference between you and you in Germany. There Sounds is. weird, but it is. Ist aber so. <laughs> ist aber so. Like, you know, we call it duzen or siezen. One is formal and one is more informal. Like, when you know people better, you are like, uh, yeah. Informal with them. Informal with them. You call them du. Du. And that's when you use do. Yeah. When it's more formal and you don't know the person, you call the person Z. Like your boss or yeah. someone you meet for the first time. Right. So be aware of that because it's considered really impolite if you just address someone with do if you don't know the person. Yeah. We Germans kinda warm up a bit slower than other people maybe, like if we meet someone. And it's kinda annoying to us a bit if someone is super overly hyper friendly if we don't know them because we're like oh dude calm down yeah <laughs> calm down i want to get to know you first i don't even know if i want to know you yet so <laughs> mm, mm, calm down so that is something you have to keep in mind as well so keep it slow keep it slow keep it quiet try not to annoy people too much with your overly friendly personality i mean that's not there's nothing wrong with being friendly at all but it might scare people away at first yeah. here in Germany. Because that is also why people find Germans rude and too serious sometimes. Because we take a bit longer to warm up to people. But actually, when you finally warmed up to us, when we warmed up to you, then we become really good friends and the friendship is a bit deeper maybe even than in other places in the world. Oh. Oh. The next thing, don't wear your shoes at someone's house. That's considered impolite. Ask them before you enter, like, should I take off my shoes or is yeah. it okay if I leave them on? Because obviously you take all the dirt from outside inside and um, all the bacteria and yeah. the infectious diseases. Some people don't have anything against that, but it's better to ask. Yeah, for example, I prefer to leave my shoes on because I have cold feet all the time. <laughs> not the, not cold feet, but cold feet. You know what I'm talking about. And so um, I ask anyways, like, and if I have to take my shoes off, well, then I gotta deal with that. So you have to, too. <laughs> too, too. Too, too, too. Too, too, too. Too, too. Too, too. Too, too. Do not wish someone a happy birthday if it's not their birthday yet. Because <laughs> that is considered bad luck in Germany. Yeah. And people take it very serious. For example, if it's a week before someone's birthday and you say, hey, I don't see you on your birthday, but happy birthday, herzlichen Glückwunsch zum Geburtstag. No, don't do that. Don't you don't do dare. That. Try to do it on the birthday. Um, afterwards, it's fine, but then you have to say like, oh, alles Gute nachträglich zum Geburtstag, like belated happy birthday, whatever. Yeah. Um, and But even that is kind of like, mm, so you forgot my birthday, hey? So you're wishing me belated birthday? It's really important for Germans that people who care about them actually say happy birthday when it's their birthday. Right. Mm. Be careful with someone calling a Nazi or at least thinking someone is a Nazi and speaking that out loud. Because obviously um, the stereotype is that many Germans still are Nazis, which is not true, but we get so annoyed by that, about hearing about that all the time, that like, <sighs> it's just shit. Like, we don't want to deal with that crap anymore. So that's why you need to be careful as well not to call people Nazis here in Germany. And also do not do the Hitler salute, the Nazi salute. I won't do it now, but don't do that. It's, co it's considered an offense and you can even get a jail sentence up to yep. five years if you do that in public. So be careful with that. Be careful with that, yeah. Don't throw away your bottles because you can get fat. Fund is the money you get when you take the bottle back to the store. I know in many countries that's like a foreign and an alien concept, yeah. but here it is normal. Um, you have to pay a little extra when you buy the bottle and then you get a little bit of money back so that you take the bottle back to the store and that you just don't litter in public or that you throw the bottles in nat into nature or whatever. I think that's why we did that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. And so we have a fund machine, like a money kind of machine, a bottle machine where you put the bottle in and then you get a little receipt that you can use at your supermarket. 
to get your money back. It's kind of an environmental protection yeah. method. Exactly. So keep that in mind. Do not walk in the bicycle lane or on the bicycle lane because we have separate lanes for bicycles and pedestrians. Right. And people might get really annoyed when they're on their bike like ding, 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 and they see someone like and they ring the bell and you don't move. Mm. Then they're like, hey, this is my lane. I drive here. Yeah. You have your separate lane. Why are you not on your lane? And we Germans are very meticulous about that. Meticulous? Is that a word? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, but we, we don't like that. And another thing that you have to keep in mind when thinking about lanes is to always walk on the right side of the pedestrian walk. Because in Germany you drive right and you walk on the right side of pedestrian walks. In some other countries it doesn't really matter where you walk. But if someone comes towards you on the pedestrian walk, he might be going on the right side and if you go left he expects you to move out of the way because you walk on the right side. At least in most places that's the case, I would say. What do you think? Hmm. I think so too. Okay. Yeah. That's good then. Scientific enough for me if Dave agrees. And last but not least, a very important thing. Don't leave your dog's poop in the park. No. Or on the street, no. Don't ever do that. Don't you dare. Scoop up your poop. Or dog's poop, not your own poop. Scoop, you, scoop your poop. Scoop your poop. Because uh, it is rude to just leave it there because people might step into it yeah. and uh, might find it disgusting, obviously, for obvious reasons. Might be slippery. Might be... Yeah, people might have an accident and yeah. if someone saw you like leave the poop, then they might sue you. Who knows? Some people are crazy. So keep that in mind while being here in Germany. So that's it from our side. Um, what do you think you should do here in Germany? Have you made your own experience with that? Or do you know someone who did something in Germany and people didn't like it? Tell us in the comments, we would be very interested. Oh yeah. Mm. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and subscribe to Dave's channel so you can find them in the video description. And of course you can click his face for the Vlog Dave channel. And if you really love this channel, then you can support it on patreon.com slash get Germanized. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen. <laughs>